Hey guys, crew of we're back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. We're back with Fruits Basket. Last time on, some shocking revelations. Yeah, I finally got the uh, lowdown on Shigure. Always kind of wondered what his like true mean, like true thing was. Pretty much everybody else had like a, a sad backstory about someone that they tried to date or fall in love with or something, and he was just this guy out in the middle of nowhere planning the uh, takedown of the family. For no apparent reason. But we got it this time. Yep. He had a... He was in love uh, with Akiko. Akito. Akito. And uh, they had a spat or a series of spats and he slept with her mom. Yeah. She did not go over well, surprisingly enough. No. And he got kicked out. Well, it sounds like she slept with Kurno first. Mm-hmm. But, like, two wrongs don't make a right. I suppose not. That might be the theme of the entire show. Two wrongs don't make a right? I mean, yeah, it's basically, like, that. that's the whole thing with Toru, is that she, she refuses to, like, let the chain of wrongs go, go past her. She, like, you may have wronged me, but, like, it stops here. I am the nicest person ever. <laughs> well, let's see if the wrongs stop at her and if she can stop the curse. Yes. Let's find out! Perfect for a war horse. Right? I actually don't know. <laughs> they still have their hair. So she cut her hair, huh? Going into battle. I suppose. But to do what? Uh, 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 uh. I think she's got some ideas. <laughs> At the very least, she could hug the nearest man and start kicking fools. But who? Whoever's in her way. Sh Sugar Ray? I don't. I don't know. Oof. I do not know. I didn't really understand. Machi in the classroom was saying or thinking to herself like, the snow melted overnight and it was gone. Which I thought, like, well, that seems very quick and miraculous. But then she also started freaking out when she saw the chalk. So I guess it's, it's not gone. It's just starting to heal. I thought they were talking about the literal snow. Like, it is like the spring, right? I thought it was a metaphor. Well, I think it was a carrier for a metaphor. But, like, it could also be, like... You maybe usually the snow puts her into like a really long funk, and she's always fearing it coming back. Like it, it's one thing to get hurt, but then to like to be constantly be afraid of getting hurt like that again, over and over and over again, that would be very stressful. So maybe the snow melting this time was not just like waiting for the snow to fall again, but it was oh, mm -hmm. in a positive light. It actually melted this time. It was very good. Yuki's very sweet. Very, um... Like, really watches out for her. You know? Yeah. I mean, it, it, sometimes it, it takes a person having gone through that sort of stuff to be able to see the signs in other people and to know what helps. It's sad that such young kids are so highly qualified. <laughs> She's the opposite of Adrian Monk. He lost a loving relationship and had to put everything in order, and she lost a very unloving relationship and has to have everything in chaos. I mean, it's the one, like, being so totally out of control of her life. Like, that's a common sy symptom in, like, abusive sort of household or relationship is, like, if you can be in control of one thing, you will... She seems the opposite, though. But but if you like, if you can be in control of one thing, being messy or clean, and you have to, you're forced to do everything by someone else's standards and keep it all clean and such, wouldn't that one thing you choose? You know, I'm gonna let this be dirty. I think it's more of a. She was expected to be perfect, and then told that she was worthless, and she believes that, and so she's being what she believes to be the opposite of perfect, to fulfill what her mother's words were yeah 
So she's she's working it out like if I'm a mistake, I have to act like this. Yeah. She's still trying to follow their rules somewhat. Trying to please them still. But th those parents are freaking messed up if they thought like the older child caring for the younger child was instantly a death threat. Hope they're not messing up the kid too. That's what's worrisome. Like, yeah, like, I could see them going the opposite direction, where like maybe this kid can do no wrong, sort of thing, but that could mess the kid up too. Yeah, as long as they don't have any um, competition, I guess. But Yuki, he did well. Like, mm -hmm. learn from the best. He did the Toru thing. He <laughs> said exactly what needed to be said. It's like you did well. Yeah. Like, he's taking on the Toru for her. I feel like Kyo is somewhat taking on the Toru role for Toru. And, um... Oh, no. What's his name? The Ox... Oh. Hatsu Haru. Haru, yeah. He's has tried to do it for other people in the past, but just hasn't been quite as... Um, quite as effective. I think maybe that's because he's not quite out of it yet. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, he's also been working on Reen for ever. And Yuki, too. Yeah. And Kyo. Hmm. I'll never forget in playing that game. It was him, Yuki, and Kyo. I was like, ah, it's terrible! Ah, you're wonderful, Haru. <laughs> I wonder how much more of Machi we'll get or if it's if it's gonna change its focus to Toru where it's gonna go from here I mean I I don't think we're done with Yuki so I don't think we're done with Machi I think they're kind of tied together at this point same as Kyo and Toru I wonder what their role is in breaking the curse though if Yuki has a role in it I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe each one has a role in breaking their own connection. Maybe. I don't think Yuki's connection broke, though. I feel like he'd feel it. Oh, yeah. It w yeah. But I think... Yeah. Well, I mean, j Akito, react Ak Akito reacting so strongly is proof enough that, like, whatever direction Yuki's moving in, it's a close direction. So, it's I'm interesting looking forward to that. that he was like in love with Shigure, considering Yuki's the rat, and they're supposed to have the closest relationship. You know, it feels like. It. Are you talking about Akito? Yeah. Oh, okay. You said he again. Yes. I was like, are you about? Uh, Akito. Okay. It feels like it should have been Yuki, but it. Like, he was very close to Yuki for while they were kids together, but it seems to have shifted away from him. Well, th that triggering moment where Akito, like, suddenly started acting crazy, Yuki doesn't know what triggered it. Kurano. It was the right time frame. That's what happened. Like... Losing, losing the connection with Kurano is what triggered that, like, craziness, and then... But Shigure was before that. I'm sorry? He slept with... Sh she slept with Shigure before that. That's when they had their relationship. Before Kurano. Right? Okay. This, uh, this is what I mean. I mean when they were, like, little kids. Like, remember when the, we got that scene where... Uh, Akito, where she was um, painting the walls black, mm -hmm. and um, then uh, after that point, it's like Yuki said, like Akito had always been like kind of she she'd still basically had a uh, conscience almost up until that point, mm -hmm. but that triggering moment was probably Kurino leaving, uh, detaching but not leaving, and from that point on, she was like focused like on keeping people as dependent on her as possible but how does that fit in with Shigure well 
Shigure was jealous of the fact that Akito slept with Kurono many years later. Like, I don't think they did that well. Akito was a freaking little kid. Okay. Like, he... I. Shirai hasn't been out of the Soma state for forever. Sure. It's just, it seems weird that Shigure was able to get so close to Akito when Akito was purposely smothering Kurno. Purposely keeping Kurno away from everybody, but that doesn't stop Akito from wanting to keep every other member of the Zodiac as dependent as possible. Shigure just would have needed less work to keep him in that position because he loved her. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Well, we figured out why um, Shortstack... What's his actual name? Sakiragi? Sakiragi? Shortstack. Shortstack. Uh, hated Yuki so much or was like jealous of him jealous. so much. Because number one fan club girl was his crush. Of all the people... <laughs> To choose the one that you're 100% most likely to not, you know, gain the attention of. Mm -hmm. President of the Yuki fan club. I imagine, though, I'm not sure if it's the case with the fan club girl and with short stack, but, like, it seems like she was almost kind of like the uh, the one girl from Orin Host Club. Like the... Oh, they're man the man the yeah. girl becomes the manager. Yeah, the manager who writes fan fiction about them and stuff. Yeah, it seemed like the two of them almost wanted to not really get in a relationship with either of them because they wanted them to be the fantasy versions in their head. I could see that sort of thing. So, like, they were having so much fun living the fantasy that if Yuki had gone out with her, she might have not known what to do or. I mean, Might have not wanted it. Yeah, we saw it plenty of times with the fan club. Like they were, they were more about keeping all girls away from him and preserving this idol than they were about actually connecting with the idol themselves. They even kept each other away. Yeah. Like, even when attempts were made. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I thought it was really sweet that, um, and in neat, with they both had something in common with the way they said basically thank you for having been in my life for this time yeah thanks for being my idol yeah and it wasn't like the more selfish sort of like declaring your love and expecting love back mm -hmm. so this, i liked it a lot despite the way short stack is constantly just freaking wound <laughs> oh my gosh do you think you'll calm down a bit next year no I do not maybe maybe hopefully he's got to go out of something he's just burning way too cal too many calories being so like wound up all the time maybe if it calms down he'll grow use his calorie for height hey, yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh so parents can apparently hug their children who are zodiacs and not have them turn into animals maybe that's what was implied with hero there I'm here to hug you both. And like, if it's a group hug, it also seems well, to maybe not be effective. One on one arm, one on the other. Like, bridge the gap between them, even if they can't actually. Touch. So they're not hugging each other, but they're like hugging each other through her. Yeah, they're in the same hug. But she did say, "Hold your sister," which implies that he would actually be physically contacting her. Like, hold, yeah, holding her like this. I mean, you're basically. How, how's that any different than like holding another person like? Like, uh, Zodiac members can't, can't but, have contact with other people. Yeah, but when, um, when Toru, like, would trip into the boys, they weren't hugging her, they were catching her. But that was still enough. I think there was also, like, abdomen to abdomen contact, you know, <laughs> going on. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. In, in the, the danger zone of, like, if this area gets, um, like, an arrow through here, like, that'd be very serious. Like, if, if somewhere in here touches the opposite general the gender it'll be serious that maybe. sort of thing maybe i just got the impression that it was like well if the mom as long as the mom is involved in any way in the contact it doesn't happen but i'm not sure i mean we've talked about before it's like what is, what happens when they come out like yeah well and you they're got pretty wrapped up and if you're breastfeeding them yeah or doing anything like that 
Oh, can you imagine? Oh, can you imagine how horrible it would be to not be able to hold your baby? Hmm. Well, I mean, they could still hold it, but like, I wonder if you just have to be like back to back. It'd be really. I mean, I mean, imagine you could give them back rubs. A tiger cub. <laughs> it's like, ah, yes, I'm gonna go go to the shops and get you know the groceries. Everybody's like calling the cops because like. There's some lady with a tiger cub in here. Or a freaking cow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, calves. Calves come out. Like, was he a miniature calf? I don't know. Or was, like, calves, they're small when they first come out, but they're way bigger than a baby. Do you think he can walk downstairs? I mean, cows, like, I mean, they could stand up and such, like, pretty soon after birth. And it's the same as horses and such. They're made to be on the plains and all that, like moving so yeah. i imagine so but like cows the thing about cows is you can lead them upstairs but you can't lead them downstairs cool i wonder if he's like that <laughs> 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 i can like can you also imagine like okay you set the baby you know how, when evie couldn't move around like you could sit her in the middle of a blanket and you could run to the other room like a drink or something come back and she'd still be there Imagine if the kid was like, I want to go get that thing. And they know it's like if they just concentrate a little bit or they get mad, obviously, because they're a baby and they can't reach something. And they pop, turn into a little calf, just hobble over there and go grab it. And then they're happy again. They turn back into a baby. Like, <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, it's interesting to think about. We got, we almost got a little bit of it here with uh, Hero and his sister. But I wonder if we'll see any more of that. Hero's mom's nice. Like, I, I I can't even remember her if her name's been mentioned, but I tell you what, she's almost a highlight of the episode for me just because, like, hey, a, a good parent. Right there. You see some pretty bad ones, so. Any, so anyone who's not just good. absolutely terrible, you just put on a pedestal. Yeah. Like, like good job, you. She's loving both children? You, yeah. Like, like, you were actually going to hug them? Oh my parent God. of the year! Yes! The bare minimum. Hmm. Anything else? No, I don't think so. All right. Great times. We've still got more to go. So let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching our reaction to Fruits Basket. If you want to see more, you can right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can also watch along with us too. You'll need your own footage. We're watching on Funimation and so can you. Also initial D's on Funimation and it's real good. You should watch it. Initial D! One Piece. There's a lot of good stuff over there.